Hey everybody, it's Brad here. Uh, Pook NC Channel, Wild Boys Brewery out of Farmington, North Carolina. I will do a beer review today. The uh, beers that Kevin Clement sent me, we did a beer trade. I uh, made a comment on his Pliny the Elder uh, review he did that I hadn't tried it and he hooked me up. Uh, it's West Coast beer, hard to get out here on the East Coast. I'm in North Carolina, he's in Oregon. Um, me and him did some trades on some stuff he can't get. Uh, Kevin, your box is on the way. You should get there within uh, three days. Probably going to get it around Monday or Tuesday. So be on the lookout for that. But anyway, I uh, heard a lot of things about Pliny the Elder. Um, have never got to try it. I've never even tried a clone brew of it, I don't think. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and check this bad boy out. Good his. And I've got the Duvel glass. Check it out. Well, fairly well carbonated, very clear. Lots of bubbles streaming up. It's uh kind of a golden it's not as copper as I thought it was going to be. Most of the IPAs that I've drank have been more of a copper color. This one's more of a golden color. Great carbonation. Put it about a finger of head. Um, that's the appearance. Let's get the nose on it. <sighs> Smells wonderful. Uh, a lot of grapefruit. A little bit of tropical fruit. <sighs> kind of a sweet malt smell in the background. <sighs> it's got a great nose on it. I've heard that uh, this beer pairs well with a lot of foods. One of the reasons it's probably so popular. Um, so I'm not going to keep you waiting. I'm going to go ahead and get a taste on it. Cheers. Very nice. Follows the nose fairly well. Up the front, I get the grapefruit. I'm surprised that I was expecting it to be a little more bitter than it is. I've been drinking a lot of double IPAs here lately, and I, this one's not a double, so I, was, I guess I was expecting it to be more like a double, but it's not. It's uh, definitely just a regular IPA. Grapefruit, kind of get some grapefruit and malt in the middle. A little bit of tropical fruit. A little bit of that tang, little little tart bitterness on the end. It's got a little bit of a bite to it. Uh, very nice. Um, very drinkable, very drinkable, very sessionable. Um, these things got the date on the bottle or not? Bottled on. 05-25-12 so it's not quite two months old it's about a month three weeks uh, it's, it's in the double range as far as the ABV goes uh, you don't get any alcohol on it at all which is nice uh, it's one of my biggest complaints about a lot of the doubles I have been drinking is they've got great flavor up front in the middle and then on the back end they'll be real hot don't get any of that on this beer. Surprisingly very smooth, very mild. It's got an awesome mouthfeel. It's kind of a medium light mouthfeel. Kind of what you'd want for the style. Leaving some great lacing on the glass. Uh, I can see why this beer is so popular. It's a, it's a really good beer. Uh, is it the best IPA I've ever had? No, I really don't think so. I think the Firestone Walker beers are probably a little better. Um, there's a little bit more going on in those. Uh, they're a little easier to find. Um, I still can't get them here in North Carolina. I have to do 
beer trades with people to get them, but at least the people that I can do beer trades with can find them. For some reason, the Pliny the Elder has got a lot of hype surrounding its name, I think, and it's driving up the uh, demand for the beer. Uh, great beer. Very smooth, great taste. Definitely drink it again if I got a chance. Um, would I go out of my way to jump through hoops of fire to get it? No, I would not. Um, there's plenty of other beers out there that are just as good as this that are a whole lot easier to find. Um, but if you get a chance, check out Pliny the Elder. I, you don't need me to tell you that. It's already got a bunch of hypes around. It's definitely worth checking out. Uh, as far as grading it goes, I usually don't grade beers, but if I was going to give this one a grade, it would definitely be an A. Um, that's where it's at with me. Uh, for the style and as an overall beer, I would, I would give it an A on that as well. Um, if you get a chance, check out Pliny the Elder. Definitely check it out. Uh, there's a buttload of clone brews out there. I'd be interested in trying to brew on this, see how it compared to those. Uh, I know there's a uh, recipe in that Brewing Classic Styles book called Hop Hammer, which is supposed to be a scaled down version of Pliny the Elder. Uh, may wind up giving that one a brew sometime soon to check it out and see how it compares while well, I still got this one fresh on the brain. And if I do, I'll shoot a video of that and put it up and let you know how it compares. Everybody have a good one. Take it easy.